so I start Right. So now we want to build a workspace. So we have to look for the genomes that we want to study. So the first genome we want to study is Rhizobium leguminosum. Okay. Um, so you want to type the name exactly. You don't want to have typos, and make sure it's on your genome name. Um, if you want to search. In a different way, you can type study name, um, but we have genome name today. So go ahead and click go when you're ready. So the difference uh, between these different um, genomes that came out as our results, uh, we have 34 genomes that were found. The difference is the status of the sequencing project. Uh, P means permanent, permanent draft. Um, and F means finished, so uh, that's the most uh, complete version, is the finished version. And we have D for a draft, which is the version that's the least, um, the least complete. So today we'll just choose the one that is finished. That's the best one. Um, here they tell you the size of, size of the genome and the number of genes. Um, this is the name of the genome. So check to select, and then add to your genome cart. So this is our genome cart, but your cart will disappear if you don't save it to your workspace. So um, we have to save it to our workspace. So this is how you um, add more genes to your genome cart. So we're going to search for another one. Um, so Enciferfetii, we're going to look for that one. Uh, we will just choose the first one that's finished status. Also add it to the genome cart. And let's look for one more. So here we have 15 results. Um, let's say I want to filter my results to only genomes that are in the nodules. So we can actually say which ones, which kind of uh, characteristics we want to see. So you can look by habitat host name, and then our ecosystem. There's, there's many types. You can also search based on energy source, cell shape, um, gram negative or gram positive. So let's uh, update the display. So now you can see it's still the same 15. Um, that's the yeah, so now let's say we want to search ones that are only in the nodules. So we need to change the filter to habitat, then apply. So now it it's only the ones that are in nodules. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Almost three because all of them are isolated from the nodules. Yes, so we have 12. Originally we had 15. So it took out the ones that weren't officially found in nodules. And um, here's the ecosystem, the habitat, host name, and genome size, gene count. So let's choose the first one that's finished. This is from Kazusa DNA Research Institute. And the um, two is a uh, search by the name. Yeah, and say you want to search for very specific um, 
ID, like, you need to change it to study name. Type in word for word, USDA space four, and then, or let's try USDA. Okay, so yeah, it gives you the ones that have that particular ID. So I'm going to add to my genome cart. And now I want to save it. You need to save this uh, genome cart to a workspace so that you can use it at a later time. So you save it, go to the bottom. So here's the genome cart again. So make sure you select all three that you want to save. Um, go to upload, export, and save. Scroll down to save genomes to my workspace. Um, select the name. So now this is my list of workspaces and here's the test workspace. So it has three, that's the, the one, the three genomes we wanted to save. So let's say that we just logged in. Um, I'm going to remove the ones that were to edit the workspace. Yeah, so this is how you get to the genome cart. I'm going to remove the the ones that were in the cart. So now we're at zero. Zero genomes in cart. So you want to add them from your workspace. So upload from workspace. Select your workspace. Add to your genome cart. And now you have the three that were yours. Okay. Um, now we want to look for genes. Or I need uh, to edit the workspace to replace them. Uh, yeah. All right. So before we look for genes, let's uh, show you how to edit the workspace. Um, First, we need to load it. In, uh, so it's right now. It's loaded in your genome cart. Yeah, you have to load it to your genome cart before you can edit your workspace. Um, so let's say that we don't want Encephalophredia anymore. So remove. Or add more. And then we need to, and then, yeah, we say we want to add another one instead. Um, okay, so we need to. Okay, so this is our genome cart. So now we want to replace our old workspace. Uh, test workspace. So we'll replace by doing that. Save to selected workspace. So now your new workspace contains the new genome that you wanted to add, um, the rhizobium et leaf. Okay, so now we can look for genes. Make sure you have your the genomes in your genome cart so that you can only restrict your search of genes to that uh, three genomes. So today we're going to look for nod A. And we have to select it all the genomes. Yes, make sure you add all your genomes. Add all. Oh, that's already done. Or remove all. Sorry. So you gotta select which ones you want to remove. So to specify my search. Yeah. To specify your search. Or you can just add one. You yeah. know, remove. It's going to ask you if you're sure. Okay, remove. Uh, so let's just do all. Um, so right now we're just going to do the simplest kind of search, gene, gene product name. So let's see if this works. Sometimes you have to change the name to find what you want. Um, so it's a lot of trial and error. So here are all three of our genomes. We happen to find not A in all three. Um, so there's also something called a gene cart. We know we have a genome cart. Um, and you also may want to save your genes. So we're going to make a gene cart.
So here's your gene cart. And now, just like with the genomes, you need to save. So save to file name. Okay, so now we have three genes in our workspace, three genomes in our workspace. And when we can uh, access for them from the workspace, mm -hmm. so we have gene sets and genome sets. Yeah. So yeah. now, um, let's say you want to export the data for your um, your genes. You can do that. Um, you can have it emailed to you in a FASTA nuclear acid file, nucleic acid, or a FASTA amino acid file. Um, so if, if it's a larger than 1,000 genes, they, um, they're going to email it to you. If it's less, they're going to give it to you right away. So let's export now. And here they are. You can copy and paste. Um, so these are the genes in the FASTA format. So you can put it into um, your NCBI database right away. Um, so that's really easy. Or you can also export the information about these genes by doing export gene sets. So then it will export your, the information about your genes to a Excel file that you can open in Excel. You can open it, so you download it now. So I just downloaded it, so let's open it up. Okay, you need to have the right format, so let me try something else. Okay, I think if we do it here, then it's something that I can use. Okay, this is Excel. So now it's opening Excel. So um, while it's opening, um, I'm just going to explain something else. Um, so when you're searching for genes, you may also want to um, Look for. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. So, you might also want to um, search by chemical name, so you can do that too. You can do um, like like oxen. It doesn't have to be the name of the gene. So you mean the pathway? The pathway that it produces? Yeah, the chemical the chemical name. I think you can also search by pathway. Yeah. So it didn't work in this situation. So maybe you have to change the category. What's the gene bank accession? Oh yeah. Um, accession number? Yeah. Um, that's that can come from the NCBI, so that's very specific. That's a good way to get your genes. So I searched by annotation. That still didn't work. Um, you can also do maybe like that transport. Let's see how that works. All right. Okay. Anyway, um, here is the gene card that we just exported. So you can save this so that you have. What is the sequence here? Yeah, this one doesn't give you the sequence. It only gives you the information. So it gives you the gene ID, um, the product genome, and the batch number. So that might not be as helpful. Um, that's why you probably want to just export the FASTA file, which is the one we showed earlier. Yeah, and I'll show you that again. So it's upload, export, and save. Sorry, let's see. Um, actually, it's in your workspace.
it's under export here. Um, okay, there, data export. Okay, sorry, you have to select which one. There we go. There, it's right here. So you can just copy and paste that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And then just save it. Save it to uh, any text editor. Okay. Perfect. Mm. So and I, I need to make a uh, plast for these genes with mm -hmm. other in NCBI. Okay. Yeah. You want to blast in NCBI? Yeah, we can do it this. We can session. do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can do it on. You want to maybe put it on a different video? Yeah, I think yeah. so. You can make the blast just for a video. Video yeah. for blast. Okay. We'll stop here.